Hi, hello, welcome to our free online courses. And today's course will be the Civil Treaty for Lines and Sections. So now, I will explain to you what is section first. So section is actually, okay, the section is actually defined and displayed using lines that group in collections and it's called sample lines group in Civil Treaty. So actually, to create the section view, you need to create the sample lines that will be generated according to your alignment. So section will uh, appear or views your alignment uh, or uh, your corridor along the stations and using the sample lines. So now I'm going to show you how you create lines or sample lines and section views in Civil Treaty. So what you need to do is you go to this profile and station views tab. And in here, you will find there is the sample lines. So click on the sample lines. And right now, Civil 3D want, to, uh, want us to select the alignment. Or if you cannot select the alignment there, you cannot find the alignment or you have a lot of alignment in your project, you can just simply click enter at your keyboard and it will pop up list of your alignment in your project. So for me, I have this alignment A. So I'm going to use this one, which is uh, along this corridor and I click on OK. So this is the setting tools or the sample line tools box for the sample line. So the, there is the sample line station values and there is the collection or the group. So if I drop down here, I have SL collection. So if you want to create a new collection or new group, you can just simply go to the box or to the icon next to it. And next of it, this is the method of your, uh, the method to draw your sample line in your uh, project. So there's two methods, which is by range of station and also at stations. By range of a station means you generate the sample lines, more than one lines, and uh, according to what station to what station you want to generate sample lines. Or if at station you create only one line in one time. So for me, I'm going to create this sample line by range of stations. I click on this one. So this, this is the setting for the line, okay, the uh, sample line. So you can set the left swap width and also the right swap width, which is the offset of your uh, lines uh, from the alignment. Again, okay, this one I'm going to change to 50 for left and also 50 meter for, for right. So it will offset the line from alignment, 50 meter for, uh, from the center of the alignment to the left and also to the right side. So, and then you need to insert the increment, sample increment. Sample increment is actually the value between the lines of your uh, sample lines. Okay? It's like a distance between the lines. So here, increment along the tangent, increment along the curve, and also the spiral. I'm going to change it to, the, uh, to 150 meter for every of the increments. Okay. So I'm done with it. And you can also change the additional sample control and so on. So I'm okay with it and click on okay. Now, if you can see at your uh, alignment, you will find that it's a sample line there. Okay, it will preview to you first your placement of your sample line. So we, because I'm using the by range of station, so it will automatically create uh, more than one line according to my station. And then if I okay with this station, I just click on enter and it will uh, generate my sample line with the label in it, like that. So next, after you're done creating the sample lines, so now you can create the section views. So to create section views, you need to go to same tab profile and section views, then you will find there is section views drop down. So from here, you can create uh, two, two style of uh, uh, section view, two method of 
way you want to create session view, which is creating multiple views. Okay, which is creating multiple views and also create these session views. So what is different between these two is when you create multiple views, which means you create more than one session, more than one section views uh, in one time. And if you create section views, this is you create one by one session views according to the sample line here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create multiple views. So I just click on this create multiple multiple views. And then this, 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 this is the setting for the uh, session views. So this is actually pretty similar to the uh, profile setting. So you can change the elevation, the data, the data band set, and so on. Okay, the first one is the general. So general, it will show the alignment that you choose just now. Okay, for me, I choose this alignment A and also the sample line, it will automatically uh, select it because I only have one group of sample lines. So if you have more, you can just uh, pick it, pick the list down here. And this is why I mean uh, you can create more than one uh, views in one time because it will automatically generate by your station range. So from what station to what station you want to create the uh, section views. So if you want to use a specific session, only specific station you want to create the section views, you can change this option to the, the user specified. So you can insert the session values that you want from the start and to the end of your stations. So I just click on automatic because I want it along the alignment. And you can also change the set section views name. And also you can change the style here. So for me, I only have three style, which is root, stash, root section and also lens desktop sessions and the standard one. So if you want to create a new one, you can always click on this brush and pencil here, which is uh, you can create a new uh, section view style. So I just click on next. So this is the placement or the orientation of your section view. So because I'm using the section views for multiple views, so it will have this station placement. You need to um, like set your placement for your section view. So for me, I will use this production and the group plot style will be just basic. So if you want to use other plot style, you can just Click the drop down here and then use the standard one. And if you want to create a new one, you can just simply go to the next of your choices of your drop down, drop down there, drop down there, and then just click, just create a new one. And then I click on next. So this is the offset range, which is the offsets of your box for your section, section views. So if you want uh, your section box will uh, smaller or you want your section box bigger offset so you can use this specified user specified and then enter the value that you want so if you use automatic it will generate according that the setting that you use with uh, for the sample line just now for the left and right swift uh, gap okay the one that you changed to 50 meter just now and then this is for the elevation range. Now, this one is for the horizontal offset, offset range, and also, and for elevation is actually for the vertical range, okay? For the vertical side of your box. Okay. Same, if you want to change it to your specific value, you can just change it to user specific here and enter your value. So for me, I just use automatic. And next one is this just the detail of your uh, section display option. And next is this one is for the data band. So you can use the list of data band sets that already been made here, or you want to create a new one, also can. And this is you can use the location. So same as um, profile, you can change the location of your band. Uh, to the bottom of your session or to the top of your session. And then lastly, I will create or uh, I will click on this create session view. I want to place it in my project. So you need to specify uh, the placement of your um, 
of your section view. So make sure it's uh, suit the space there is suit for the uh, the numbers of section views that will be generated later on. So maybe around here, let's click on this one. So that is my section view because I only have a few line there. So you will generate the section view according to my line, the number of line here. So if I've zoomed in here, you can find the name up on top of your uh, section view will be the same as the name of your line there, the label there. Okay. So that is how you create the sections and lines in Civil 3D. So see you next, uh, see you all next on our free online courses. And thank you for joining me. Bye bye.